a really good possession against the zone. I like the way Louisville's making quick and easy decisions, not letting that zone make them play. Strong move inside for Dunham. She already has four rebounds in this game. Chattanooga has five, so think about that. Jasmine Jones on the steal, up to head to Balagoon, and Balagoon gets on the board. Has the opening tip and the series history between these two. Third meeting all time. Nice basket. Defer gets it off the Hodgins. The lefty can't get this one to go on the bank shot. And Jones leads the break, takes it all the way, lays it in. Come on, Pam, check it out. Look at that. And her off a double staggered screen right there and got her the open look. Spray is shooting 48% from three from her last two games, but there's a three that's answered right back. But Duke was able to recover with Bain's follow. And down court, counted for Jasmine Jones. And to finish, look how high up she is. Look how close she is to the rim. What an impressive play. Tops in the ACC in multiple categories. Nice steal there by Jasmine Jones. What a great hustle play to keep it alive for the Cardinals. And then show, yeah, she's just going to go attack and lay it in. How about taking it from one end to the other? Here we see more of that pressure defense. Jasmine Jones somehow gets the ball to Dunham, gets back in the play to finish for the lay-in. Jasmine Jones had it stripped away, but gets it back. That was a good defensive play by Sharp. Dana Evans, boy, that iron is kind down to the right today. It's like that too, that really, she, would, she kept saying, great defense, great defense, a little alley-oop. How about that to Dunham? That all started with a great screen by Babs, who got herself open by setting that hard screen. Two players went at her and with an open layup. Louisville passing the ball so well. Elizabeth Balagoon off the assist from Yasin Diop. She belongs here, can be a really good player here, and getting more consistent in her sophomore year. Diop wide open, Jasmine Jones found her. In addition to what your team does, to really everything hinges on your success. Mm -hmm. and Dana Evans is heading that way. Oxen out the weak side. Inside a chance for three, and there's Jasmine Jones in the paint so far. This ball's in her hand for about two seconds, maybe less. That's awesome. A one dribble, kind of a push floater shot. Evans bottled up. Jasmine Jones, rainbow three. And usually she hits 58% of her shots from the floor, second only to Emma Guy in the league. And then Shook gets inside. Trying to work around a screen, lost the handle. Race to the rim, and Jones is going to win that race for Louisville. That gets started first week of March. Jones let the defender go on by, steps into the shot, and hits it right before the horn to end the second quarter. Hey, the extra pass by Kylie Shook, and again, Georgia Tech leaving their feet. Comes through for her first points for Boston College. She's been averaging over 15. Jones, don't blink. But now, Rod Creech indicating it should be against Swartz to close out the regular season strong on their home floor. A great crowd, great atmosphere here at the KFC Young Center. And they love it when Jasmine Jones hits a shot. Doing like Evans missed the last couple of games. Nursing the ankle, nice fake to get rid of Mabry by Jones. Textbook, one dribble pull up by Jasmine Jones. Needs to, to get a third foul on Shook. And Shook with high hands on that trap gets the reflection. Already forced a couple of turnovers, and Jones gets a shot at an end one. Did I get her contact knocked out? She went so hard. It's a blow by right here. Off the right foot, off balance. This is why you practice these plays, because you want to quickly get the ball high on the glass. One would have to lose for there to be any movement between Maryland and Louisville out of Fort Wayne. Just for geography reasons. Blocked by Jones. 
competing. Look at this play by Jones. The athletes on the floor are incredible.